Sucks too. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Ant Man Movie Ultron Build a Figure Wave Bulldozer. If you're trying to pick up this figure yourself, you can get a big, bad, big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. Thank you so much, Mr. Philip, for letting me borrow this figure to review. And this packaging did not come with these grease stains over here. Uh, yeah, I was just so happy to see this in person that I felt like it needed to be hugged and those grease stains right there are from my face so yeah sorry about that Mr. Phils but anyway the packaging looks cool otherwise you get these ants over here and on the back you can see the figure there's a read up if you want to read it pause it now here's the other figures from the wave more ants on the side more ants at the top all right let's get to it and crack this thing open man here's bulldozer out of the package and we finally have this figure oh man I'm so happy this exists at one point I really just didn't think it was going to happen if you guys remember from a few years back they demonstrated this over at San Diego Comic Con uh, later to tell us that it wasn't going to be released and now here it is so we got it It is a reused body mold from the Hulkling from way back in the day uh, But we do get a lot of added sculpted parts to this. I think this head sculpt is Fantastic actually. I think this is the closest I've seen Hasbro sculpt and paint anything that resembled Toy Biz Legends And I'm specifically just talking about the head sculpt and the rest of the armor on the figure uh, There's still some needed paint on the rest of the figure and I'll get to that later But just focusing on this guy right here just the head Look at that. You get a little bullet hole right there, or a bullet ding. You get some slashes. You get nice color variety in here. It looks like a nice wash over the silver. And I like the flesh tone. You can still see his face underneath. They have like that tealish silver for his eyes. I think that came out looking really good. I cannot sing the praises of this head sculpt enough. That is just so badass. Damn, I'm very, very pleased with this. I cannot remember another Hasbro figure that has this level of detail. I mean, I can't remember. Let me know if you can remember one, but damn. Even the top of the head, look at that. That That is just beautiful. Was that Wolverine that slashed him? And then this whole piece right over here, that looks great. All the slashes and dings, making it really look like it's made out of cast iron. That just looks great. I cannot, oh man. Very, very pleased with that. Now, unfortunately, the orange section doesn't have any paint detail on it at, at all. And I have my settings bright up over here so you can see the metallic parts of it but you know as I darken this up it's just, it's just a bright orange color and it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me because you know he's supposed to be bashing through walls and everything and he's all crispy clean but it seems like with these Wrecking Crew figures they're only allowed a certain amount of paint you know like on Pile Driver the white sections are painted nicely but the rest of him is bland so I guess he'll fit in with the rest of the Wrecking Crew but I do wish they added more paint and I did mention the Hulkling mold is uh, mostly the arms and the legs this upper torso section is a different mold that they had added later on. Get all the wrinkles and all that stuff in there. Of course, this section is all super smooth, which I wish they had wrinkled up a little bit to match the rest of the figure. I kind of wish he had two fists. He doesn't need to hold anything. They could have given him both fists right there. Then more cast iron right there around the boot, and then the boots look pretty nice too. These are Hulkling feet right there. No paint detail on it or anything, but we do get the peg holes. And then here's looking at the back of the figure. So very solid piece overall. I'm very pleased with the articulation on this figure. You can shift his head forward and back, kind of like foul driver. Right, so you can move it forward and then tilt it back and then slide it back in so you can look up all the way Do the same thing so you can get that chin right through that front guard So you can get his head all the way down getting a really cool charging pose like how he's supposed to I like that you get side to side rotation over here And you do get some neck pivot, which is very good shoulders move outward They rotate forward bicep swivel single jointed elbows wrist moves side to side no hinge at the wrist though Unfortunately, he has a good ab crunch that moves forward all the way and you can move it backwards swivel right here at the waist Waist, hips move outward that much. You can get him to kick forward, move back, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, no rotation at the boot. This little piece can rotate around, but I wish he did have rotation at the boot. Ankles move down, they move up. He has toe articulation and he has a weak ankle pivot. The ankle pivot is there, but it's not a very good ankle pivot. It's a very large figure. He's standing at eight inches tall. And here's Bulldozer 
compared to the rest of the wrecking crew and this just looks so cool to me I'm very very happy we're completing this team this is badass and as you can see we get all these reused parts right here with the legs and the arms and stuff now going back to my point with the paint you can see power driver right here he has some nice shadowing but nothing right there on the legs wrecker has some nice shadowing on the purple areas but nothing on the green nice shadowing on the yellow for thunderball nothing on the green then nothing on the orange but nice shadowing on the silver parts so I don't know what it is but it seems like Hasbro only has enough money to paint half the figure with some detail and here's bulldozer compared to our most recently released Thor figure and I think they stand in pretty good scale together and then here he is next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown spider-man <laughs> And one thing I will say about this figure, it is very difficult to get him to balance on one foot. I had to use this stand over here. And remember when these were our Build-A-Figures, right? That wasn't that long ago, man. So a lot of people that are still upset with the Build-A-Figures we're getting now, we used to get this not that long ago. So cheers to lowering your expectations. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please click any of these boxes right over here for more shart in your face. Don't forget to check out my Patreon. Your support is much appreciated. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And make sure you go to MarvelousNews.com for the latest in Marvel-related news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. This figure it is a reused. Ah.